Good morning. And look at this view. Incredible views. Awesome to wake up to this great, great view. Kungsleden, here we come, the Southern Kungsled. Now we're walking to some of those. And I feel I got runny legs today. Because we had a zero yesterday and did nothing. So now it's going to be exciting just to walk and see where we can get today. But you have to be careful when you have starting a bit late Ooh. and of course asphalt and uphill Ooh. and how do you feel my friend we are in the mountain i'm happy it's great finally we really um, the, the habitat is different yeah yeah really different so now we're going to see mountain views every day for the rest of our hike hopefully yeah whoops what huh? yeah, it's gonna be a great day a long day we started a little bit late because we had the lovely accommodation oh. and i I would long to stay one more day because this beautiful couple had everything. Oh, they Ooh. were so nice, so kind. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely super kind. And we borrowed the car. Hello. They wanted us to borrow the car, so we had that to the grocery store and everything. So, oh, what a lovely couple. But. Now I'm out of breath, so <laughs> I will put the camera down. But here we are. And I see people. Look at the view. And I see people all the way up. I haven't had this hiking trail with so much people <laughs> since we were on the Camino. <laughs> But here is like 30 people we have met already. So that makes me happy. But I got long pants and that's a no-no. So a big note to Dan, no-no with the long pants. So I see a bench over there and then I'm gonna get, get out of my long pants and get into the shorts again. Because it's, this is too hot. Whew. But a beautiful start of this. I'm a, oh, I'm so exciting. Excited is the right word, not exciting, excited. You can enjoy the view for hours here. Yeah. Now we have reached some plateau, so now we have a view from in a small lake yeah <laughs> yeah and I'm, I'm from the southern parts of sweden so we don't have these ups and downs here so this is absolutely majestic for me uh, it's the first time i'm hiking in this kind of condition in sweden so it's fun as well we have done it in malaysia and vietnam of course but first time hiking mountain scenery like this in Sweden for me so that's super exciting and this path of asphalt it ends here at this shelter yeah. so now we have to see <laughs> where we are going oh on the other side it just continues up here Their views, their views, and I see so many people. We have seen more people on this trail and 
uh, the first, yeah, since the first uh, thousand kilometers of Sweden. So a lot of people here. Hey, hey. But uh, I hope you can see something of the view. It's majestic. They got lakes down there, mountains, lakes, mountains, 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 everywhere. It's, oh, I can just walk and film here for hours. It's so incredible. And we have absolutely stunning weather today as well. So, yeah. It's hot, but we have a small wind, so it's a small breeze. And the higher we get, hopefully, the colder it gets. So it's going to be nice to see what kinds of weather like. It's going to be nighttime when you're the, the farther north we come of Sweden. We are, we are not even half through Sweden yet, but thousand plus kilometers and still walking. So. And I think here is like 100 people up here uh, taking lunch and I uh, have uh, grabbed myself a little Swedish fika up here. So it's nice to see so many people out in the nature. That makes me so, so grateful. But haven't seen anyone with backpack like us. So they are only day hikers, not uh, through hikers like and families, yeah, so they are not through hiking or long hiking, but it's, it's so nice to see. And on this little trail we're gonna find some cabins uh, to sleep in and to pitch our tent outside so we can eat and be inside if we like to, so that's a little bit exciting too. But the views, my friend, the views, they are incredible. So here is water you can filter and drink and swim in and clean off. So I hope the water will still be here all day long. Now we're leaving the wooden board and heading towards Kjellfjälls stugan. Four kilometers this way. So, oh, more wooden board here, but smaller ones. Was it good water? Yeah, tasty. Ice cold. Was it, oh, I have to take some as well. Yeah. Oh, I, I, can I get down? Squat, my friend. The, the, the poles in the water so you don't fall down. Yeah. And then, oh, it yeah. was deep. Yeah, and then, very deep. And then squat. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm sitting down. And it was cold and nice to the head as well. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that oh. is nice. Fresh water. And people are. We are talking to people, and people are talking to us, and all are think we are joking. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm going to talk. Yeah. No. Look at this. Oh. Strong leg. It, it was ni heavy. nice to squat down. Yeah, uh, but p people are thinking we are joking. Oh, you're not from, uh, you, you have not walked that far, but yeah. <laughs> we have done more than one third of Sweden. <laughs> no, you cannot. And yes, we said we are on our way up to Trerikseröset, the most northern point of Sweden and then oh ah, that's incredible incredible so it's so fun to talk to people and there is a lot of people here so it's gonna be fun to see do you think there's gonna be this much people in two hours no I don't think so 
know. So it's going to be nice to see where, where the people end. If they were just walking around here, or they follow the, the paths up. And here, these wooden boards, they are so so to walk on. Because they are, uh, oh, what's the name? Uh, machine yeah, but they are uh, wiggly. They are up and down. Yeah. So now we hit real ground here. So that feels better because the shin splints hurts as crazy because of the weight push you down and, and like a trampoline almost. But here, here is why we got the poles. Nice. Oh, I saw the bee. Huge. Like this. Yeah. This is how the beach looks like up here yeah, the in the north. Mountain beach? Yeah. Or what's the name? I don't know. No, but beautiful. Because the weather is so tough, so it looks like this. Yeah. yeah. Nice. But the sun is over there. So. Maybe thumbnail then, I don't know. Because now I don't know when we have Wi-Fi again. It's gonna take a few days maybe. So though, then I have a... Almost five kilometers straight up. And almost 500, kilo, uh, 500 uh, Calorie. calories burned. But the view. Yeah, this is fun. I really enjoy this. This is... I can watch every direction. It, it's incredible. And the cross, they are here because they have to show the way uh, winter time when it's snow here. Yeah. But because everything is just white, you can't see anything. Yeah. But now you see the trail yeah. very clearly. Yeah, and then you have to have sunglasses if it's white everywhere because you cannot see anything. That was nothing. <laughs> One water down, five yeah. waters to go. And I think all these small, small puddles is because of heavy rain the, the other day. And if, like we used to say, if you go up, you have to go down. And you can see the trail. And I see people down there. Yeah. It's very nice to see. I'm, I'm so happy I see people. They have fun in nature here. But they can spread out through Sweden because we have seen more people here on the trail and the, the, the full trail from uh, Smygelhuk up to Sälen. So more people today. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah. So but if you're going to walk, this is the place. <laughs> you want to see people, go here. <laughs> yeah. If you don't want to see people, don't go here. Uh, if you want to go alone, uh, keep to the southern part of Sweden. <laughs> then you'll be uh, completely by yourself. But the views, the crazy views everywhere. I feel like I, I'm, I'm walking with a big smile on my face every step I take. I'm just smiling. Yeah, both of us, we're just walking like this. Happy faces. I think the first cabin we are, are here, it's a Kjellfjällstugan. So this is a resting cabbage, not a sleeping cabbage. Cabin. Cabin, not cabbage. No, say, yeah, yeah. 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 No fire in the stove. How does it look like? Oh, it looks nice, but no fire for now. So. Oh, no, it's in summer. Yeah. Oh, but maybe they haven't uh, done the chimney. Yeah. No, no, can be. But this perfect cabin to rest up if you need shelter. And those are, these cabins are all uh, along the way. And here is emergency provient. First aid kit, pasta, Captain Morgan's whiskey. Everything for, you need. Good for the wounds. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. So, a bag of rice. So maybe we can put some rice or something in one of those cabinets yeah. as well. And here's uh, wood, so you can chop up. Yeah, on one of these. Oh, 
But it's not important because you cannot make a fire. <laughs> and that's the outhouse. And I think the trails goes on that way, so. But first pit stop of the day, so we are happy. And now, no mountains for the moment, now we hit the forest, but we still get a nice breeze, so that feels amazing. And we met the nicest family at the cabin, and a German fellow as well, but the, the family is super nice. They have a cabin up here, a family cabin, so they go once a year up here and hiking. And, having a nice time so they were here with uh, both their big children and hiking around so it was a pleasure to have met them uh, super nice people those as well but it's a little bit wet here so you have to jump between rocks because you otherwise you sink down because we have been unlucky with the rain uh, for a few weeks now. Uh, like you've seen in some of our, our videos, it was punch on, punch off. And even once or two days, we couldn't film at all because the, the rain was too heavy. So we didn't dare to take out the camera because uh, this camera is working so so. It's not the best camera, but. Uh, but this is beautiful, absolutely amazing trail list. And for now, not so much people. After the cabin, we haven't seen anyone after we left, left that place. But uh, in the beginning, a couple of hundred people. Uh, so that was super, super nice. Oh, a butterfly. And here we see Anna running. The high pace Anna who almost dropped her uh, rain cover. Just put the rain cover down. Why? I don't know. I just forgot. Yeah. Yeah. But what was the name of this lead? Southern King of the Trains. Kungsleden. Ah, King of the Trains. Ah, th this must be Kungsleden now. Yeah. Yeah. But we enter at the southern Kungsleden because uh, the big boss at our accommodation, he says, you got to enter there. And we always listen to the, the wise men and ladies all over the world. And you don't say no to that. And a lot of this wooden planks, I don't know the term in English, but they are everywhere. So that's... Nice from time to time to get your feet up and walk here. Look at that water, my friends. It's totally clear. Yeah, crystal clear and ice cold. But nice to clean your face and your hands again. So, every time you have a little opportunity to clean up, you take it. <laughs> you never know what's the next time you have some water. But it's so cold. Nice. And the first mosquito I have seen now. So that's nice as well. I have I not think missed it. What? You can drink here. I think so. I, I think know. so as well. But we will 
Today we want to hit the cabin, but we don't know the, the distance. And uh, then we're gonna fill up our three liter, uh, three liter water bag. Yeah. So we have water for the night, so yeah. nice. Oh, let's talk in, yeah. And here are the beautiful Atakans that Anna is longing for biting her. And look at that beautiful water, my friends. My beloved husband, he came down. Ah, oh, he came down to meet me in the, this hill because this was a very long hill. Oh, very, very long, steep climb. But now we are on the top. We have a beautiful view. Ah, oh, so he ran down to get my bag. Please, please, please give him some love in the comments field. What's this? <laughs> I don't know. But what have you? For how long have you been walking uphill? Very, very long time. 20, 25, 30 minutes. I don't think that's enough. Straight up. Yeah. And it was up. only seven or eight kilometers to so our accommodation today, but <laughs> it's gonna take some time. Yeah, but now it's uh, maybe flat and then. Uh, ah, be, be, I think maybe over that hill as well. Yeah. So, uh, now down, up, down, uh, then we are hit our accommodation. But good work, my friend. Yeah, look at good this. Work. You did great. Thank you. Are we done? Soon. Like the thing, shops, push it. Push, push it, it real hard. Oh, real good. And what are you doing? I'm cleaning up. You taking mud bath? No. It was uh, a dangerous thing. You don't see anything. You just sink down in a sinkhole. So uh, you have to watch out where you step. And uh, my, my foot just whoo. And I have the poles like this. And there was firm ground and then just put my foot there. And I had my pole just there before and I couldn't, couldn't uh, resist it. My foot just went down. And then I had to pull myself up with the, those two and the other legs, so. Like quicksand? Yeah. So it was a little bit scary, but it's okay. Again, look at the views. And now it's decent. <clears throat> ground to walk on but it was a little bit scary when I sunk down with all my feet my right feet but sometimes it happens but it's absolutely beautiful views almost all day it's been views like this mountain lakes and I think there's the ski resort or a ski uh, you can go for skiing it looks like this from here so The last break. Yeah, three kilometers left. Did you show them where we walked? No. No. We walked here in the water because the trail is here, but we jumped through rocks and uh, I cleaned myself over here and it was super beautiful. <sighs> you want to clean off no, it? No, I don't. Yeah, come on. No, I don't. Yes, come on, my. Yeah, but only three kilometers left. 
And here was a beautiful place. Look at this. Here it is. Beautiful, my friend. Beautiful. It's, it's a bit difficult. Whoa. Here I have some problem. It was hard to get over because it's so much water. But uh, Dan went first and then he helped me. Oh! Ah, you did good, babe. <laughs> you did good. Thank you for the help, for, for helping me. But this was a bit hard, a uh, bit difficult trail at the moment. And so much mosquitoes, so yeah, we will run. Totally exhausted by now, but I think we have may maybe 15 20 minutes left. Hopefully, and this is we have passed it so many times, and it's a bit hard. But this one was the easy one. Oh, and then we uh, one occasion I almost fell backwards. With my bag, it's so heavy. But all this rain is uh, flooded, it's uh, lakes everywhere. It's so beautiful. And we're home for the night. Unfortunately, it's, you cannot sleep inside the cottage. But we will rest there and make our dinner and uh, relax and then we will pitch our tent out here somewhere. Uh, so we're going to be inside all night and be out here. Uh, and I walk down here somewhere to get some water so we can clean up and freshen up. Uh, and what a beautiful place. We got outdoor toilet as well. So toilets. That little house, I don't know what it is, it's locked, but, and this is Nærfjellsstugan, and it's a beautiful one. And telephone service as well, a lot help telephone if you need anything or something has happened to you, so here is a phone so you can call the the police and everything, so that's nice. And little fireplace so we can dry our things if they don't get dry. My my right shoe is a little bit so-so because I put all my foot in uh, the mud and I sink down. And here we got Jägermeister, we got matches. But I think I will start a little bit of a fire so it don't get so cold in here. And uh, then we can sleep better and we can eat and relax and maybe put the pot on there so we can boil some water. It's nice as well. Uh, so we don't have to cleanse it with a cleaning thing, a cleansing thing. But great place. Look at the view. But the strange thing is, there is madrasas and everything in the cottage, but maybe that's just for if you want to relax or something has happened to you. So, but there's the cottage. Nice one. The 
fire is burning. And that thumbnail. And we spread out our things. We're drying some things. We have cleaned ourselves. We are making dinner. Well, making dinner. Uh, I'm cooking up the, the tea because I want uh, tea or ice croissant without the croissant and uh, shada without the da because we have hot tea. Now we have to change. Yeah. And uh, mackerel and tomato sauce. And we have to eat up pasta because we cooked pasta yesterday. We have bread we have to eat up. We have some veggies of course. Uh, carrots, bell pepper and I have uh, cucumber and white cabbage in my bag as well. So, and Anna is fixing the water because she's the water princess. Ooh, it was cold outside. Yeah. I'm freezing. So oh. now we have one drinking bottle. Yeah. So here is the... The water station. The <laughs> water station. And what was the name of that? Cleaning water? So that's that's a bag. Store. Yeah, there's a bag for three liters of water. So now, and here is a, for cleaning. So we, we hello. I don't. I I skip this uh, bushing. Yeah. 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 So this, this is a nice thing. Just hang hang it up. We're all red. Yeah, I know. Huh? Yeah. But it's not bites this time. I I think it's. Uh, I was very very hot and i have uh, shaved mm. myself as well with a bad bad yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> because i got no hair on my chest but look at the view guys again and look at the view from inside I, i'm free yeah i want to close the door so maybe we should close the door yeah. to get some heat but look at this this is the view from uh from the kitchen window so we can sit here enjoy our dinner and next to that table we will set up the tent but we, we will not do that for now because we're now we're just gonna eat relax chill out and then then we just ran out and, and pitched the tent and then we're gonna sit here all night yeah yeah because yeah. no we don't yeah. need to sit in the tent no so we sit here all night with uh, with a little bit of a heat and then uh, go out, pitch the tent. Uh, what what are we going to do tonight? Relax, talk. Yeah, uh, relax. Yeah. Drink tea and coffee. I really and need the coffee. Time, as a, the time is much. What is it? I don't know. We have walked for many hours. The time is half past seven. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. So we have been walking for eight hours. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, and we're waiting for one guy and his dog as well. So we think he's gonna hook us, hook, come to this place as well. And we got, we got the flies. Uh, is this bye bye for today or do we have anything else? No. Sh should we show them a bit, pitch the tent? Uh, no. No, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe we show when we, we put, uh, put the tent together uh, tomorrow, but. Otherwise we eat bre for... breakfast in here and, yeah, uh, yeah. and coffee in here and everything. Yeah. So we just run in here. So, yeah. End of day 40. Ah. I have shit. Yeah, have yeah. Shit. 48 or 49. I cannot remember. Sorry, guys. Check it out because it's interesting. But, and we now we don't know how, uh, when we're going to have an uh, internet. So, end of day 48, yeah. and uh, where are we? Oh, if there's things... Uh, yeah. Uh. Do we have the sign? Yeah. Nærfjellstugan. Yeah, and look uh, at that. Eight, 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 852 meters above uh, sea level. So that, That's why yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. tired. Yeah, I'm super uh. tired as well. And I think I uh, looked at my phone. We have walked for uh, around 20 kilometers. I, th I think it was 20.2, and I burned like 1500 calories. <laughs> so it, it's nice. The camera is yellow, so we have to load that as well. 22 so. kilometers at least. Yeah, nice. 
Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you.